having a third date with her tonight, and it feels like a pivotal one. I see you clinking two glasses of wine together. I, I need as many details as you can possibly get. Uh, I hear something. It's like a mmm. 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 Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh my God. Uh. Oh my God, right there. Oh, Greg. Oh, honey, honey. oh don't stop. Oh, 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 God, Greg, fuck me with your fat cock. Oh. oh. It doesn't look good, Gregory. Just awful. Absolutely hilarious. Um, love the commitment from the actors to really elevate and bring this film to life. I thought the writing was incredible. I thought the improv was incredible. And just so funny, you never knew what was going to happen next. And I just, I, I adore both of these characters so deeply. Um, they just did such a great job. And, um, yeah, I like how it just took place in one location. Just two people sitting in a room, uh, one giving the other life predictions, love predictions, and um, and just let it all let it all un unfold. And uh, it was it was absolute gold to watch. Thank you, and thank you for the outtakes. Thank you for all of the alts that played during the credits because uh, arguably that's that's the best part is just getting to hear these these actors just riff and how how ridiculous can it get? Great job. I really enjoyed the set design in this one. I thought it was really visually interesting and welcoming, like the color scheme and all the other details that were chosen. And I really loved the acting from the fortune teller. I don't know why, but it was super entertaining. And then kind of like the blooper reel at the end. It was really, really comedic. Um, and I thought it was so well done. <laughs> the premise of this is absolutely perfect. And I think a lot of people would indeed need a crystal ball to tell them uh, how to pleasure their, their female partner. I think it's so funny. It brought into so many um, jokes about faking it, about uh, what she uses to, to get by, and the full commitment from both actors of the groundedness of believing in this situation and, uh, yeah, committing full force, I think made it a real standout for me. And uh, also the set dressing was really nice to help build that world too and build that believability i really love this film i thought it was so funny um and you know it's super impressive because it's just a uh, you know two people in a and a just a conversation but it, it was still very engaging very interesting so i think that's props to the acting and the directing and the script which i, I thought was really funny both performances were great yeah all the twists and, and turns were, were great and yeah, especially his all of his lines about being a, a sex god was was really funny. Yeah, just <laughs> just so funny, and I really loved the the kind of like outtakes at the end over the credits. I, I loved that. That was, that was just a nice touch at the end. But yeah, great job. I really like this film. So I just wanted to say I think you guys did a really great job with Yahtzee. I think it was such a simple concept, but so smart and so well done. I thought the dynamic and chemistry between the two actors were so was so funny, um, especially the psychic character. I thought he really committed to his role in a really funny way. And even though it only took place in that singular room with the two actors um, just talking back and forth to each other at the table, it was still so entertaining the whole time and had me laughing the whole time. So that's something, a testament to your guys' writing skills. And I think it's just a really great example of taking a simple joke and just elevating it to the point where you can make a short film out of it. So I thought that was really great. So congratulations. So this is an interesting and uh, and a fun uh, premise here. I uh, see well, uh, there's usually things that, uh, scenes that involve fortune tellers are usually all done the same way. There's usually a, 
uh, very kind of, you know, even when it's comedic, there's always a very serious forewarning of doom and all this sort of thing. And it's always very general. But with this, it's like this guy is really looking into the future or the past with this crystal ball and giving very specific advice. And um, it's just kind of a, a fun way to kind of dissect dating relationships and, and the, this poor guy's troubles and uh, give specific advice on it. But, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of delving, we're definitely delving into this world of comedy and perhaps this world of, you know, fantasy and, and, and magic. Uh, which is interesting. The two actors did a really nice job, and it was um, it was well written and a fun score. Um, you know, well paced with the editing. The directing was was good. Um, so good job all around. Mm -hmm.